hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Diafni. if you're new here welcome bienvenue and thank you for clicking on today's video as you can see by the title today's video is going to be my best luxury purchases under $500 don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below share this video with your friends and family if you find it helpful of course now let's get into the video so i'm going to start with something that is arguably the most worn item in my wardrobe right now and that is my louis vuitton band Dough. I know you guys have seen this many many times in a lot of videos. I wear it even when I'm not filming I'm always wearing this you guys. This is a very Versatile bandeau. I love the fact that it has the neutral side and when you turn it around party over here I absolutely love that so it gives me the best of both worlds. I know it's kind of pricey for a scarf, a bandeau, but you get a lot of use out of this if you get a color that is versatile enough. And these are silk. You're only supposed to dry clean them so you can keep the quality. I don't know if other people wash them, but this says dry clean only. So don't wash it. I, I think it was one of my best purchases this year. I won't argue that. It, it really was. And I absolutely love it. I do plan on getting other colors. But I would want it to be versatile enough that I can wear it every day if I so choose. So, the next things I would like to talk about are... SLGs. If you are familiar with my channel, you know I love me some small leather goods. Definitely one of my best purchases are my card holders. I have two different ones to show you guys. This is my Louis Vuitton card holder. This is the one with the reverse monogram. As you can see, I absolutely love this one. Love this one i was obsessed with this for so long i was wearing it non-stop now i got this one this is a ysl one i also think this one is super cute but i love this one because this one is more sophisticated kind of like more dressy you know my louis vuitton one i can wear it dressy casual whatever i can do the same with this one but i prefer to wear this one when i'm more dressed up because i think it just fits the occasion a little bit more so definitely i think card holders are a great investment you guys especially if you don't like wallet also if you're someone who likes small bags card holders love 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 so these are definitely number two on my best luxury purchases you need these you know what i'm saying and they're not super expensive but what i will do is i will put the exact price for you guys maybe on the screen or down below just so you can be at ease so you can know how much is under 500 next on my list is a key holder now again i am key holder obsessed I have this one i have some gucci ones but comparing this one with my gucci ones i find that this particular one is just bigger and it serves more than just holding my keys so let me show you what i mean I have my keys here. By the way, this is the six ring key holder. When I don't feel like carrying my key holder, my key pouch, and whatever else, I'm able to snuff some cards in the back here. As you can see, I have a license in here and a debit card in here. I can even go as far as putting two debit cards in here. It does kind of mess with the shape a little bit nothing super noticeable where you would like be upset at it this is the damien Aben print one with the gold hardware i absolutely love this key holder right here you guys once i saw this was in stock online i snatched it quick i do not regret it i will definitely try to find other alternatives that are lower than whatever i'm showing Next on my list, you guys, is another LV. <sighs> Let me just put a disclaimer. This video is not just LV, but Louis Vuitton remains one of the more attainable brands when it comes to certain things. For example, a card holder at Chanel is a lot more than a Louis Vuitton card holder. I have a lot of Louis Vuitton things because I feel like the price is 
kind of more reasonable than a lot of other brands. They are very good quality. I mean, it's Louis Vuitton, hello. But you know what I'm saying? Like the price is not like a crazy, absurd kind of price. My next best purchase, I would say, is my toiletry pouch. These are also from Louis Vuitton. I wear these all the time. I use these constantly. The 26 was my very first purchase and when I got this it was well over $500. I think since then they had a price increase and now I'm pretty sure these are discontinued. If you wanted one of these you would have to go the pre-loved route because um, I don't see these on the website anymore and also in the stores it's almost non-existent. This is the 26. This one I use as a toiletry pouch i put my makeup in here perfumes when i'm traveling i use this as a clutch if i'm going out and i want something a little more casual i absolutely love this i've had this for a while and it has definitely held its shape i don't see any crazy wear and tear on this love this this is just a piece of canvas that is folded over so you will see it is right side up on one side and then upside down on the other i use these religiously if you saw my alma bb video you would have known that this is like a portable cosmetic bag for me so i use this i put my whatever i need at the time makeup cosmetic things i would just put that in here and i will stuff it in my bag i am a firm believer in protecting your bag because the inside of these is this material where you can definitely wipe it if something ever was to spill inside of this as opposed to if things were spilling inside of your bags like i'm not a fan at all i've seen people with very expensive bags and the inside of their bags there's lip gloss perfume spill whatever and i am terrified of that so i keep a pouch this is my secret to keeping my bags looking new and intact pretty much done with SLGs I'm going to move on to belt bags mini bags and possibly a tote well not possibly a tote the next best purchase I have here is from coach belt bag I have this for about a year or two and I absolutely love this it was made to be worn as a belt bag or crossbody or a clutch I've never worn it as a belt bag but I do wear it crossbody and as a clutch it cannot house too many things because it is a belt bag so it's pretty small in here i can fit maybe a lip gloss a card holder and my key pouch that's about it so if i'm running out to run an errand to go grocery shopping to do something quick and i don't really want to carry too many things with me this is perfect it does come with a chain to make it crossbody and i absolutely love it the belt is the same color as the leather that's in the back of this bag it has the little coach logo super simple i love you know the leather here on the side i love this color i feel like the color scheme match pretty pretty well this was not expensive at all i think i got this at a coach outlet for about a hundred dollars 150 no more than that you guys and it has held up very nicely my next one is another coach bag and it is the pillow tabby this is the pillow tabby 19 i think it is 19 if i'm wrong i'll put it on the screen but i think this is the 19 this is the smallest one it does come with the top handle if you have not seen my review on this bag i will link it up here for you guys to check out this is a pretty nice bag i don't know if it can stay in your wardrobe forever because it is it is different yes it is it looks trendy it reminds me of the bottega fluffy pillow bags it does it has that style but because of you know the simplistic way that it is i love this i absolutely love this i love the fact that i can wear this as a crossbody um, yeah i love it as a top handle i use the chain from my other coach belt bag and i wear it as a crossbody i love that because the gold colors matches perfectly because the bag is small so it does not look awkward as a crossbody i'm not sure if you have the bigger one i think it's 26 
I'm not sure if you have the 26 if you can finesse it the same way but I think the 26 already comes with a strap that you can probably adjust as a crossbody I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong in the comments let me know this bag I've worn so many times and I think it's so stylish especially for summer this is the it bag for spring for summer and because of its color i will keep continuing to wear it in the fall and the winter yeah and i think this bag will be in my collection for a very very long time because i have nothing else like it and the next bag that i have is also from coach this is the willow tote and i got it in black it does come with the classic c you just turn it to open it. The inside is burgundy. And I love that this little key tag here matches the inside of the bag. You have three compartments. You have a compartment here that closes with a magnetic closure. You have a zipper compartment, which you can put your laptop, your iPad, you know, whatever you want more secure. And then you have this compartment here. Oh, and it also has the feet at the bottom, which I absolutely love. I purchased this bag specifically for work and I have been loving it. It carries everything that I need. My laptop, my iPad, my other work essentials, my calendar, whatever I need, this carries for me. So I absolutely love it, you guys. It is very, very nice. When I went to the store to pick this up, I saw a brown, which was a very, very nice. I have my eye on the brown one. And there was another like hunter green one. So I'm not sure if they have any other colors, but this is one of my best purchases because i definitely wear this every single day if you're looking for a tote for work and you do not want to spend over a thousand i would say look into coach because they have some nice totes you guys and tory birch as well so i'll link some more down below for you guys that i think are worth investing in definitely a great purchase i love this one gonna talk about perfumes a little bit so two perfumes that i think are absolutely worth the investment they are pretty expensive i'm talking about tom ford perfumes the soleil blanc to me is a definite must have in your collection because it is very summery very nice very pina colada ish to have in your collection but i recently added bitter peach now hear me out if you've seen one of my previous videos i tried this before and i didn't like it hear me out now Brittany from pockets and bows tv she says that it's more of one of those perfumes where you have to leave on your skin go outside walk around a little bit you have to be in the sun to really get the full effect of this perfume i love this perfume and i love this perfume so I think these are great luxury purchases to have in your collection. I did a dossier video. This video is not sponsored by dossier, but if you do want to try something a little more expensive, but you don't want to fork out the bucks, try dossier. They have almost all the expensive scents way lower. You get what I'm saying? So maybe you can try it out. And if you like it, then you might want to invest is something about them that is worth the investment of course baccarat is one of my amazing best luxury purchase but i didn't really want to mention baccarat because i mention it in almost every single video also gentle fluidity is one of them from maison francis as well oh my gosh the oud ones oud silk and oud satin oh my goodness they are absolutely amazing 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 investments you guys and they're under 500 dollars so the next things that i want to talk about are sunglasses i have two here to show you my prada and my chanel now these two sunglasses i know they look very similar for some reason i've been into this shape a lot so I wear my Pradas a lot, you guys. If I'm going out to run errands, if I'm just doing anything and I just need some shades to throw on, I reach for these. I reach for these a lot. And this one as well. I've been reaching a lot for my Chanel's. Um, 
I'm showing these two because this one is more of a black lens or gray lens and this one is more of a brownish lighter lens so that's why i'm showing these two i think if you're not one of those people who lose their sunglasses or don't remember where they are or whatever investing in some good luxury pair of sunglasses is a definite must i think they spruce up any outfit a nice pair of sunglasses i mean it doesn't have to be prada or chanel or gucci or whatever key australia has a lot of good ones i've seen desi with a lot of good ones i have yet invested in some of them and i think i will these are my picks you guys but they have a lot of other luxury sunglasses that you know you can invest in well under 500 dollars. i will have some of my favorites link down below for you guys but i love these sunglasses you guys everything i absolutely love them now we're gonna move on to jewelry now these are fashion jewelry you guys the very first one is from dior now if you watch my channel if you're familiar you must already know what this is these are a pair of earrings they are the mini hoops that if you guys have been paying attention that i wore to death all the time i was wearing these now if you're into fashion jewelry um and you just want something that's just a little more upscale i would say you can invest in these but if you're not into fashion jewelry don't worry about any of what i'm saying right now but i think these dior earrings are definitely worth it i love that they're very accessible they're a statement but still understated if that makes sense they're not boom wow bow in your face like oh hello i'm dior if you know then you know you know what i'm saying but they're very like understated and that's what i love about them i can wear these to work if i want to i can wear them to dinner to lunch run errands they're very versatile this is what i'm trying to say last but not least you guys the next Earrings that I have to talk about are some Chanel double CC earrings. I featured these in my last vlog. I'm actually wearing them today. I think they are absolutely stunning. My pair is the pair with the pearl on one C and the other C has the crystals. It is more of a champagne gold then it is more of a gold gold and i absolutely love it i think i want more i'm chanel obsessed but a lot of other things i want from chanel are kind of too high okay so <laughs> we're just gonna get what we love and we actually can get maybe later on we'll venture out into the bags and the other things that we want from Chanel, you know? But I absolutely love these earrings. I think they just add just the right amount of sophisticated, classy, you know what I'm saying? You're not doing too much to an outfit. I think it's just the right amount. Even if I'm wearing like a t-shirt, I do my hair and I wear them, boom. Like, I, it's just, it adds something, you know? It just adds. I think all of these things are well worth it. If you have anything that you love that is luxury and under 500, let me know. Share with me, girl. Put it in the comments down below and I will definitely check it out. It was so much, so much fun filming this for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So this is the end of the video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Share this video with your friends and family. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.